Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with The Sew Down. This is our monthly round of stuff that we've seen, read, listened to, in and around the world of sewing and beyond that we thought you guys would find interesting. Um, I usually start this with talking about something that I've made. Um, I haven't actually made anything in the last month. I don't know about you guys, but the pandemic has made my sojo run for the hills and not come back. So I'm just not giving myself any pressure to make something if I don't feel like it. So I haven't made anything, but I have discovered a beautiful fabric that I wanted to tell you guys about because it's so good I just thought I had to share it. Um, Merchant and Mills, I'm sure most of you are familiar with their beautiful fabrics. Um, has anyone seen? It's called Edie Quilted Wobble <laughs> Gauze and it comes in four, four beautiful hues. Um, it's two layers of gauze and they've yeah, sort of quilted together. It's got such a lovely texture, I'll pop some pictures up. Um, I really love it, I'm not sure what to make with it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Sort of thinking maybe like a little jacket. Um, I think, I thought also if you've got friends who are having children, these are almost like um, muslins, they look like muslins, it really kind of chic muslins. Actually baby clothes or little kids clothes in this would be really cute. But yeah, it's beautiful. So I'd love to hear what you think I should make with it. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm just gently eyeing it up. Um, it's £22 a metre, so it's quite um, an investment. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share because I loved it and I thought well, you guys might like it too. So next up, I've got two. Um, I've got two indie designers to talk to you about. Um, two ones that you may not have discovered or found or heard of before. Um, the first one we've got is Tessa Rusa. So she's a relatively new designer. Um, she's got three sewing patterns, um, and I really love her aesthetic. And I thought you guys would too. So they're quite. Well, I'll show you a picture of the three of them. So there's the Vera dress, the Licky blouse, and the Lily clots. Um, I love her collection of stuff. I think it's really beautiful. The Licky, I think I'm saying it's L Y K K E. Lick blouse is absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I spoke about it in another video, but the clots are really lovely as well. And I think the dress is a real classic wardrobe staple. So. I think she's going to be one to watch because if you like these three, she's producing more and I think she's got a very nice sort of paired back aesthetic. Um, her patterns are just PDF only, um, but yeah, I thought they were really lovely, so I thought we would share. The other designer, which I'm sure, well, some of you will have heard of, some of you won't, is Folkwear. Um, so we've just started selling them on the site and they are, I actually didn't know how long they've been running for, I had a look, they actually started in the 1970s and they produce patterns that have a folk kind of inspired by traditional folkwear. They've also got some other patterns sort of in and around that but I think their patterns could be used either um, for like casual wear for you but they definitely have a nod to sort of historical dress and I think they could be used for historical dress as well. Um, they've got quite a lot of patterns but there's some really interesting ones in there and some like that I really I, I think I'm a bit of a folk girl at heart. I really love all their blouses. Um, they're kind of really beautiful and if you if you do like vintage I think you should definitely go and check them out because they've got some really really great stuff so yeah we're pretty excited to have them on the site they've just arrived. Next up I've got um actually I'm fiddling with it here um so I'm sure some of you will have either bought one or seen it on Instagram Portia Lowry from Makery has teamed up with Samantha Claridge and they have created a pin called the Maker enamel pin badge. Um, I'm going to show it up here. I hope that you can see it. Yep, I think you can. Um, it's a really beautiful enamel pin. I'll also pop a picture if this, if what I've just showed you is blurred. Um, the great thing about this collaboration is that 100% of the profits go to a charity each month. So they just cover their costs and then everything else goes to charity. Um, it's the first in a range. Um, they are £7 each. The initial run has sold out, but you can, um, I think you can pre-order 
one so it will come back into stock soon but they're really lovely quality and they're also going to support a really good cause and they're just quite nice I quite like it's a fist with a pair of scissors it says everything about the com making community so yes this is a really nice little thing that it's worth checking out I will say that everything I talk about I'll pop links down below too so do not worry um, I've got a few things to read. Um, the first is an article in The Guardian called Fast Fashion, 20 Ways to Stop Buying New Clothes Forever. Um, it's a really, I quite like articles that are round up and there are 20 different points. It's definitely um, quite, some of them are quite obvious, but there are some quite interesting ideas. They also talk about making your own clothes in this and tilling the buttons get gets mentioned too so I thought this was quite a nice read if you feel like you want to just you know think about where you're getting our clothes from which I know as makers we already do um, but yeah I thought this was a nice little read I've got two books that I'm reading at the moment that I thought I'd share with you um, the first one is called The Button Box by Lynn Knight um, this got given to me by one of my mum's friends um, you know how I'm sure if you make stuff people give you stuff anything that's related to making I saw the cover and I was like oh I don't know if I'll ever read it but it's actually really lovely I started reading it a couple of weeks ago and I keep dipping in and out um, so it's a story of women in 20th century told through the clothes that they wear um, it's a really nice it's kind of like it's a it's a historical novel, no not a novel, it's the history of fashion but told through real people, it's really nicely done, um, they talk about, um, it starts in like Victorian times and mourning at mourning clothes and what you wear when you mourned and like it goes through, they're just really lovely stories, if you're looking for something, because I don't know about you guys but I found it extremely hard to read recently, this is really nice to dip in and out of you can just read a little bit and put it back down and come back to it and it's yeah it's very nice and it's really interesting so i would highly recommend if you're looking for a book um, that has a bit of a sewing feel to it the next book i've got is completely and utterly got nothing to do with sewing but if you again as i was saying i'm finding reading really difficult if you're looking for something a bit murdery to kind of grip you in um it's quite trashy but in but in a kind of good way written well um it's lucy folly the guest list this is i think her second or third book it's about a group of people who are in their mid-30s they go to a an island an island off island and um loads of things happen it's there's a murder and it's all like sinister and then it's I like it because um it's told through the eyes of each of the characters as well so it's really it's really um it's really addictive so if you're looking for something that you need to kind of get stuck into I think this would be a really good option for you so I just thought I'd pop that one in I know it isn't so related up next I've got something really delightful for you guys to watch um, someone emailed us about this and I had no idea um, um, at, it would have been I can't remember what date it would have been but Haute Couture Week earlier on is is at a different time of year to traditional fashion week um, they've done these really great collection of videos which are about three to five minutes each for each designer and um, it's really worth a watch they're really nice because they're kind of shot at home but done nicely it's just really interesting little insight into covid and how they've kind of how they've survived through it and um, i think what i really liked about it is that there are some really big brands in here and it felt really the the videos are quite homemade in a really nice way it kind of took the big corporate out of the corporate brands so yeah they're definitely worth going and having a look and there's loads of them so you can just click on and watch them and they're really nice if you're feeling like you just need a few you know 15 minutes to yourself you could just watch a few of these and they're really really lovely right so stuff to listen to i've got four things to talk to you about um 
The first one is Women's Hour. Um, I've actually got two Women's Hour things this week, but they're both really fantastic. The first one um, is talking about fast fashion, um, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard about um, the poor working conditions in um, factories in Leicester, which has led to an outbreak of COVID there. Um, and they're talking all about that and how we need to change our habits, consumer habits. It's just a really interesting um, part of it. So uh, I can't remember at what point it goes into it, but um, if you flick through, you'll find it. Yeah, it's a really interesting little section. So it's definitely worth going and having a listen. Next up, um, there's this really beautiful um, podcast to listen to on the photographer's gallery I'm not sure w whether you can whether it's on YouTube but I'll pop the link to it and it's about Soho London Soho in London and um, it's talking about the history of Soho particularly um, with with a kind of focus on fashion and textiles and it's really lovely um, it's it's um, it's done by um, someone who actually lives in Soho. She's she's a researcher and she's called Claire Lynch. And um, she interviews Borovic, um, sorry, Martin Borovic, who owns the shop Borovic's, which has been going since the 1950s and is still there now. And it's absolutely delightful. So if you are interested in London and the kind of fabric district of London it is a really lovely listen so I would highly recommend it it made me feel all kind of warm and, warm and fuzzy inside and also made me want to go back to Soho as soon as I can <laughs> um next up I've got a new podcast for you all I know we are all desperately looking for new podcasts and this is a sewing one um it's called the uncut podcast so there are three hosts who um are doing it so it's Alice of the Polka Dot P Palace, Atia of the Bright Blooms, and Juliet of Juliet from Juliet of Juliet from the Sewing Bee, and um, they are sitting down every week to talk about sewing, what they're making, their creative journey, and I really like it because a lot of podcasts are done by companies. I really like that these are three people who make a lot of stuff and talking about what they're doing so it is really nice their first i've listened to the first two episodes and it's definitely worth checking out it's yeah really nice and it's you feel like you're basically sitting down with a load of people who love sewing talking about patterns and stuff so yeah it was really interesting next up i've I and mean, this is last but not least um i've got another um women's hour thing if you haven't listened to this, this was really interesting. It was talking about Radio 4, it was Radio 4 Women's Hour, I think I've just said that, um, our relationship with our bodies and appearances, how they're going to change after the pandemic. And it's really interesting and definitely worth a listen to. I It made me think quite a lot about how I feel about myself. Um, and they were talking about how obviously we haven't been able to have haircuts, we haven't been able to you know do all those beauty treatments that you do waxes and whatever else and you know eyebrow threading and people who get cos you know who have botox haven't been able to do it it's just a really interesting um listen and it's definitely worth worth having a listen to it so yeah I, i've really enjoyed that and i think you guys will too so that is it from us this week i hope you enjoyed that um we will be back soon with another video and as i said all the links to everything i spoke about down below so if you want to watch or read or whatever any of these they're all there right have a good weekend everyone and we'll see you soon bye